Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the invalid process attach attempt blue screen error on your Windows computer. This could definitely be a frustrating issue and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving it without too much of a hassle here. And we are going to begin by addressing that some people will not be able to boot into Windows, in which case you should be booting off of a recovery media drive. So if you have the media creation utility, which I have tutorials on my channel about, you'd want to burn that into either a DVD or a USB flash drive and then boot your computer from that. And instead of installing Windows, you want to select the option to repair your computer and that'll launch troubleshooting options from there. But since we were able to boot into Windows in my case, I'm just going to select the Start button. And then I'm going to select the Power button over here on the left side. And now I'm going to hold down the Shift key on my keyboard while left clicking on Restart. So again, I'm holding down the Shift key on my keyboard. And now I'm going to take it off because now it appears to be loading our recovery options. And we're going to select Troubleshoot, Reset Your PC, or See Advanced Options. Select Advanced Options from here. And now we have quite a few options you can go with. I'm only going to focus on one for this tutorial, but you guys do have other options here as well, such as Start Up Repair and uninstalling recent updates through your Windows computer. So you can do uninstall updates, Start Up Repair, or you could also just do a classic system restore here, which I usually do recommend. That's usually one of the first places I would go. And we're going to go select the user account on our computer, administrator account, and we're going to select continue. Select next. And then we're going to select the most recently created restore point we have listed here. And then select next again. And then we're going to select finish. When started, system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Select yes. <laughs>
Okay, should say it completed successfully. We're going to go select the restart button now. Okay, so once that's done, hopefully I would have been able to resolve your problem, guys. And as always, thanks for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.